แล้วก็จะเขียนมานะแม่น้องมีใฝ่ฝันมั้ยว่าสักวันหนึ่งน้องนี่จะต้องทําอะไรที่เก่งแล้วทําให้แม่ภาคภูมิใจให้ได้
Jill Shalamit or Nongni for the Thai people. She is a ski shooter, ranked second in the world. Can you imagine that? And not only that, she is the first in Asia. If you would like to hear more about her, follow me with the People's Foreign Affairs. People's Foreign Affairs this week? We are sitting he right here at the Ski and Trap Association of Thailand and talking to Miss Sutia Yu Shilamit or Nongni in her pet name and uh, she's a ski shooter holding the rank of the second of the world ranking. Not with that and not uh, she also stands for Asia number one and there she is Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. well uh, thank you for sparing your time for it's my us. pleasure well i'm i would love to know because being a lady why do you take up a gun <laughs> you know and, uh, and i believe that you have started this kind of shooting uh -huh. when you were young yourself yes um i always uh, play sport i love uh -huh. sport and I do many kind of sport, uh -huh. and luckily one of my cousin was the national team before, and I heard a lot of shooting that she's been competing, mm -hmm. and she's been there, and she's been that. So I, I heard a lot about it, uh -huh. and when I changed my school mm -hmm. to to the place nearby the shooting range, uh, she bring me to try. So, mm -hmm. and since then I'm in love with the shooting. What was the age? I was about 15 years old. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And your parents agree no. what you're doing? They don't Not at all. <laughs> they don't like it because uh -huh. kids with guns, uh -huh. you know, and they, they, were not, they were not shooters, they were not soldiers, so the weapon is kind of uh, not familiar for them, so uh -huh. they were not so like it in that time. Uh, but yeah. you like it anyway? Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, you, you, you did your uh, study, anything to do with sport or anything? Pardon? Your education? Uh, no, it has nothing to do with sport. Uh, uh, <laughs> I graduated uh, in bachelor degree in accounting. In accounting? Can you imagine that? She's doing in accounting. <laughs> anyway, so, why, why, so you are not, uh, not at all, don't, don't feel at all of anything that, well, I've taken for three years to study accounting and I'm diverse my life like this. Uh, Actually, do I'm with? doing it together uh -huh. because from 15 until 20, is, uh -huh. I'm still in the ed educational yes. and I'm doing it together. Uh -huh. So I kind of balance it. Uh -huh. I love to study and also I love to compete. She yeah. has a very pleasant face because uh, she's good. I mean, your heart is like lighted. You, you have no worries of what you're doing yeah. uh, with the family business and all that, right? Yes. Yeah. So tell me, and then after that, uh, after you take up that, and uh, what was what was your age when you got into the first competition? Um, I was about 16, mm -hmm. so that's I shoot for a year. Mm -hmm. And when I'm 16, I, I try out. Actually, there was a international competition here in mm -hmm. Thailand, so mm -hmm. I got a chance to, to join that mm -hmm. competition. So, yeah. Yeah. so what was it? What, what did you do? How did you do? I did a, I did a MQS score. It's a minimum score that required for Olympic shooter. Oh. Yeah, so I did oh. that. Oh. I, I was very happy in that time. Uh, yeah. So at that time, it must be a kind of a, another step for you that you feel that definitely this is my way. Um, yeah, uh. we can say that because I start to, it's the first time that I compete internationally. Uh -huh. So I can meet the Chinese shooter, uh -huh. the, you know, Asian shooter, and it's very exciting, yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. So then next step after that, after 16, after 16, then I got a competitive feeling. So I go to my family. I said, I, I love this sport and I want to go ahead and I want to become better. Mm. Uh, I want to go to train outside the country to find a better coach or a better system. Mm. So I asked them to go to China alone mm. for a month. Wow. And I was 16 years old. Good. You, yeah. good, yeah. <laughs> you told me that uh, this sport is a kind of uh, you need a lot of support. Yes. And your parents do not did not support you. Yes. They did not. Um, they support me, but they don't agree with me. Uh, they didn't agree with me in that time. Uh, uh, but okay, they said if you don't hurt anyone, mm -hmm. if you don't break any law, mm -hmm. uh, it's good for yourself and the country if you can do that. So uh, they support me, mm -hmm. but not hundred percent agree. How many of your family members? Uh, I have two bigger, bigger brothers, and I'm the youngest sister, 
So we have uh, three siblings. What have they done? They are something like you or uh, um, on business term? They are in school. They play rugby. Uh, uh, when they finish school, they are now doing the business of the family. Mm, yes. So take up your part. Yes. <laughs> they good have enough. to cover a lot. Uh, good enough, good enough. So Walter, can I say that presently you have reached to the reach to what to the goal to, uh, to the dream that you wanted i am not reached all of my dream yet but i'm living my dream yes mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, what was the uh, one that uh, what award that you were so pleased so happy actually recently uh, uh not 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 a month ago uh, i got this goal uh, my first goal of the world class competition yes. so that's that's the biggest but before uh, it before you come here because it's a very important part <laughs> of it but before it how many gold medals that you received um in thailand uh, more than 10 uh in, or gold no uh -huh. some um, when i medal, start medal, not medal, anyway. yeah, yeah when uh, i okay. begin not so much uh -huh. and then uh in asia i got three goals uh -huh. on in Sea Games Southeast Asian, I got three goals in a row. Mm -hmm. And when I focus to the world class, I stopped competing in the regional mm -hmm. competition. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. When getting to a world class, you see, world, world means what? World means how many countries? Um, recently, for example, in this competition, in total of the whole competition was about 88 countries. 88 countries and uh, seven to eight hundred shooters yes how could you do it <laughs> but in my event is about 50 50 shooters yeah, yeah. they have uh, yeah. many many events tell me before we, we already jump into because i'm so i cannot resist to know <laughs> and to hear and to see her gold medal but you tell me once to get into this how good you are because you have to be best it's not only good eyesight you have to best eyesight how do you manage it? Um, tell, tell me about uh, how do you take care of yourself, your eyes and all that. First of all, I have to learn the technique of, of ski shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, after China, I, I asked my parents to, to make a training by myself in Germany. Mm -hmm. And my family support me to hire a coach, a German mm -hmm. coach. Whoa. And that was about six years that I spent my life in Germany. And, mm -hmm. Uh, training with a German coach and German team and since I learned the technique also we need a concentration that we need to see the target that is flying and the decision making and also the mental toughness when we compete under the pressure and also the physical because the gun is about 4.5 kilos so if we lift it 200 times that's 900 kilo a day <laughs> so we need to be fit uh, in that case, yes. So in all aspects, we need to, to excel it, yes. Uh, your eyesight, you have to be what, putting some medication, <laughs> some eye drop or something? No. Not at all? Uh, everything comes from training. She born for it, really. <laughs> uh, um, uh, we train a lot. Uh, As a shooter, I train a lot uh, until your brain learn, your, your muscle learn uh, to follow the target. That means at the period of time that you're doing it, all the worries and on everything will be pushed up, brush aside. That's the Nothing. ideal. Oh. That's the ideal. Mm. Yes. You have to do meditation or something before that? Yeah. Without getting into that. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. What did they say when the other country, definitely Thailand to the, <laughs> to the world, just a, a small spot? Yes. We are small. We are very small. But we're big in our heart. Anyway. Yes. So, uh, well, tell us about that, uh, um, the feeling of the people. At the beginning, mm -hmm. in Thailand, we have no knowledge base, uh, knowledge base in the ski shooting, and we are so small in, in shooting range. And when I start to coming up little by little, they start to look like, yes, Thailand have a good at least. And mm -hmm. also when people come to me, like a friend that we are not only competing, they are friends, mm -hmm. they come like, Oh, I want to go to Thailand. Yeah. It's such a lovely country. Yeah. So it's nice that we, I myself, start to represent yeah. the country yeah. in that way also. Yes. Uh, very interesting. And so uh, that means, and you say that you were trained in uh, in Germany. That's yes. the reason why that you you get best trained before coming to the final. 
we know. To... That that was a big part of the of the development, and I, I spent six to seven years, and I learned a lot from from the coach, the German coach, and I learned a lot how how uh, the developed country uh, train. Mm. So I see the idea and how they how they plan their competition. Yes. What did you spend a lot of money? Yes. <laughs> you say they're not supporting you. Mummy has been fully supporting you. Oh. I got I got also the sponsorship, but yeah. unfortunately, he passed away last year, and uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, this uh, association is uh, government supporting. You. For now, for now is a is a sport authority of Thailand mm -hmm. who support me directly, and mm -hmm. also the sport and tourism ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, we are working together right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now come to this. Uh, let me have an opportunity to to, to touch it. <laughs> wow, this is a real gold medal. <laughs> Out of what? How many countries again? In total of the competition, eighty-eight. Eighty-eight country. Thailand, the kingdom of Thailand, has got this. <laughs> and uh, tell me, what is the symbol in on this? What does it mean in this? Uh, this is the ISSF, the International Shooting Sport Federation, and this is the symbol of the shooting sport and if we see in colors mm. the colors uh, represent from the olympic rings mm. which is five uh, continent mm. and put it together in the middle to to represent the shooting that we need to focus and we need to aim mm. so this like representing the the federation mm. yes so how do you lead your life daily um, right now, I'm preparing for the Olympic Games, mm -hmm. and so I, I uh, commit 100% mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. to shooting, mm -hmm. to try to, to bring the best of my potential in the, in the competition. Mm -hmm. So I need to train a lot in physical, in shooting, in, in uh, meditation, in mental. So all my life is uh, around my life, is to bring me to the, to, the, to the peak of my performance. So you have no boyfriend? No, <laughs> I got this no time for that. <laughs> or they are afraid of me. <laughs> no, but I think you need concentration. So, so now, and I believe that you are traveling to a foreign country. Yes. After this, so all the time. What, what, what is it for? Um, uh, mostly it's for competition. Mm. Uh, Sometimes the plan can be training in some country. Mm. Uh, for example, next week I'm going to have a training camp in Italy. Mm and so on. Who the, who the one who behind you to tell you, okay, this season you just go there to this country, to this country to, to get trained? Who the one who managed to I set manage, up your time? I manage everything by you, myself. By yourself? Yes. Wow. I make a plan uh, by myself. Uh, how do you know that? What might be, it must be Italy, it must be Germany. How do you know? We was, uh, we will look at the calendars for okay. the every year's competition uh -huh. and uh, the plan goes around the competition uh -huh. to bring the best and this comes from my experience how mm -hmm. to how to prepare myself. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so how about food? Over there, how could you manage your Thai food? At the beginning, <laughs> I have a lot of uh -huh. problems. Uh -huh. Like when I train in Germany, I stay there three months in a row. I miss Thai food, but luckily, Thai people is everywhere. So when I meet Thai people, they are, even so they are not restaurant uh -huh. or just Thai people who live there. They were just so happy to prepare, oh. to prepare my meal or if I request something, they were just like home. The food was just like home. Yeah. Mm. So this is, this is one of the best thing of the Thai people. When we meet each other, they help. They just, they just love to help. Yes. Mm. You are working in the sun. I could say working or training in the sun. Yeah. How could you manage to cover to do to get your uh, not black enough <laughs> by sun, the hot sun, especially this month? Actually, I don't mind uh, if I got burned. Uh, uh, as long as it's not hurting, I don't mind if I get dark or is. It's kind of uh, a charm of the sport. Uh, we, yeah. we get we get a chance to be outside all the time, and that's. Uh -huh. That's my favorite things actually. I cannot stay inside all the you time. You have to do how many times? How do you exercise yourself? Um, I have uh, my personal uh, fitness, fitness trainer. Oh.
so he will plan, like I will have a competition in two months, he will have his plan. So oh, I will just follow. Just follow that. Yeah, whatever, mm -hmm. how hard it is. Uh, because you need to wear so muscle, because yeah. you want to see, you have want to have a look at the, how heavy the gun is. <laughs> yes, please have the, your gun and all that. Yeah, yeah so this is a, uh -huh. the, the shotgun. Uh -huh. Yeah, we call it the over and under, so uh -huh. it's up and over. Uh -huh. And the size is a 12 gauge. Ah, yes. Okay. So, so we need a yes. we need a big ammunition. This is a very special type. It's not ordinary gun. Um, right? This is my hand. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> she was telling me that this is a custom made. Yes. Because uh, then then you, uh, your hand, yeah. your, how it fits yes. on you. Mm -hmm. So this is ah. custom made that fit exactly my hand, uh -huh. my finger. Okay. And all this adjustable to adjust until it fits to my eyes. Uh -huh. And when I aim, it directly how I see it and the way it hit the target. So mm -hmm. it must be, we talk about one millimeter uh, precision. Yes. <laughs> A person can see one millimeter. Yes. Oh my God. And this is wooden. This, wood. this is the wood part the wood and part. this is the metal part. Uh, the wood part uh, helps to make it lighter. Is that anything um, to do with that or beauty? Because the metal, when it got, when we fire the bullet, it will burn. So it's oh. hot. Wow. The okay. wood will stop the heat. Oh, I see. And the wood can shape in our biomechanic uh, uh, hand or in the detail. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so it's a, mix, it's a mix between wood and metal. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can you bring it up? Yep. Like that. Ah. So, so when uh, we mount? So you have to know how to maintain yourself. Yes. You have to know how to. We have, Suppose, yes. we have to know uh, the, the reason of the high and the low. Mm. Everything, everything will affect the shot of the gun. Mm. So for example, the target is about 30 meters away from us, mm. from the shooter. Okay. So, if we make one mistake, uh -huh. we move a little bit too fast by one millimeter uh -huh. until it reaches the target, uh -huh. it will be six centimeters. Uh -huh. So it will go more and more and more. Uh -huh. So the precision in this sport is very high. Mm. Yes. Mm. I really used to want to know about at that time when you get, you know, you were in the competition, this final one. Yes. So you were with among these uh, foreign people, like in Germany, uh, on the Western people. Well, they are more advanced than us, much more than, than us. The Chinese are supposed uh -huh. to be very good. Uh -huh. right? So how could you manage to do that? And uh, uh, what made you, you win? I mean, I know that you must be very good in that, but, uh, but there would be some, 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 some trick in it. First is the will that I want to be. I want to be the best I can be. So we have to have the will, we have to have the determination. Mm. So that is the first thing. And then, okay, my country is, we have that, they have that. Mm. We have this, they have that. Ah. So we know. Ah. So I, will, I, try to, I try to compensate things, like mm. I work harder, mm. I plan better, mm. I learn more, mm. I study more. Mm. So I compensate things until I, equal to them, I compensate things until one day I will be better than them. So that day was bring the goal. Yeah. That's the will, that's the way. <laughs> and uh, by the way, so uh, you said that you have not reached to the dream that you wanted. What was the dream? What will be the dream? Uh, my dream is not an outcome anymore. Some people think gold medal, Olympic Games, some people think world champions. Um, now I, I see that I love this sport mm. and I want to see how, how can I give back to the sport also by being a good example, mm. by being a, a hardworking that the young can look up to. Mm. And also the highest goal of my life is to be able to enjoy when I compete. Mm. So people go to competition, got anxiety, got stressful, got all, all kind of negative thought, and I want to be in this sport with the with the positive thought. So that's that's my goal from now on. Yes. <laughs> people for Interface is a program that recognized people of not only good heart, 
but uh, have good expertise, they have sacrificed to the country. Can you tell us uh, what kind of Thai people should be to foreign people or whatever? Um, the, the charm of Thai people, we are easily to smile. And I think one of the things that even for me uh, is the humble. Yes, I am I'm trying to be humble and to be appreciated in, in the people who come to our country, in the people who see the beauty in the Thailand. And we are humble and uh, welcome to the people around the world. So I think that's, that's the, the good thing when people come to Thailand and see Thai people in that way. Last but not least is uh, for the younger generation. If they get involved in life uh, with sports, they could somehow become a better person. Yes. What is your suggestion? I totally agree with that. The sport, sport bring out the best in you. Hmm. Not only physical, for sure, when you play sport, your physical will become better. Hmm. And it will bring to your mental part your mental part will be better. You will, you will enjoy the effort to, to work hard and to get the result. In sport, you cannot just lay down and win. Yeah. So you need to learn to work. So that's, sport can change people in that way. People will learn to work and will learn to set goal and try to reach that goal. Right, so I would like to end up by touching you, such a good hand, and wish you all the best in life. Thank and you. Thank very you much. on behalf of the Thai people. My pleasure. Right, or I would like to stand up and clap for you. Thank you very much. Miss Suji Rai, future mid or nominee a street shooter who ranked one of the worlds and bring us the pride of the Thai people.